entitled in these words. Help me, I'm lost. Help me, I'm scared. Help me, the whole world is closing in on me. In these words, your average male exists. Trying to fight the temptation from all these demons I resist. They creep in on me and under my bed, it confuses my mind. Men are trash. So I'm being told to leave the garbage pit, to stop picking the rubbish things and instead pick myself up. When at the end of the day, when the daylight fades and the night lights turn into dawn, they think I've just been in my mind, when in actuality I've been going insane lately. The constant circle of... The constant circle of dreadful thoughts clouds my mind and darkness comes in like a thick silken curtain. In the dark room exist shapes of black and white. The picture-perfect scenes turn into silhouette, into solid shapes of black as I contemplate and stare through the window. As I watch the orange light kiss the skies and ignite obscure thoughts like an opaque face. So what is darkness? For some, it's the polar opposite of brightness. It's the lack of illumination. Darkness, depression, Darkness, depression are natural cousins. And for me, it's a place where I constantly make bad decisions. It's a place where when I pitch all my positives and add a dark thought, it tends to negativity. It's been hard. And while you suggest a remedy to anxiety and depression is self-love, you forget between sex and love there's an autocorrelation. And this self-love you all preach just lead me to masturbation. It's been hard, eating from the leftovers of my own family and licking the plates of the visitors. Not because I'm mentally ill, but because I want to feel how the least of us in society feel so that I can set out on the right mission to see the world heal. It's nothing normal, it's just an invented approach to our daily notions. How I go for days without taking a bath, or give away all my possessions till I remain with no cash. It's shameful, it's pain. To run away, I start dropping sick verses because the Bible is no longer the good doctor. For me, of course, because if it was, wouldn't be watching the clergy engaging in sexual intercourse. But none of you are willing to talk about this. So I heard, I resorted to spitting fire because I heard life shout, Jacaris. You all know I'm intelligent. And with my loyalty, I would have saved the world. But this Ned was stuck. Got beheaded by the son of the bearded king. Mad, right? I'm a crow, a protector of the war. And still with all that I know, life has the guts to stare me straight into the eye and tell me, you know nothing, Jon Snow. But now you're looking at the court. A king at this Game of Thrones. Sitting on the Iron Throne, I'm Ironborn, protector of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. Except this king is only fighting the battle of the bastard. A parent to a child is an angel. So unfortunate, how unfortunate was I that you had to die before I even got to know my show signs. Before I learned to separate the truth from the lies. Before I came to terms with the fact that someday everybody dies. So while for other kids life was all fun, I had to step out and stand there, I'll take care of my siblings, make sure the outfits are bling bling, and all this because at the tender age, I became an orphan. Selling fruits in streets just to afford different schools. So before you judge me, ask yourself, would you take a step into my shoes? And in these ways, you can see that I'm not mentally ill. You can see that I've been through thick and thin and I'm not talking about girls. Life has just been hard.